Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Faith Lutheran Children's Church. We're so glad to have you joining us this morning. Uh, as we again look into the Bible, as we look into God's Word and see what He has to teach us. Uh, before we get started today, I want to remind parents out there, we have some resources available for you. If you check out our church Facebook page, you'll find our Bible verse for today. You'll find a video that you can watch with your kids that talks a little bit more about our lesson for today. And you'll also find an activity that you can do at home uh, that again deals with what we're going to be talking about shortly. So I really encourage you to check out those resources so that you can work with your kids and uh, help them to grow in their faith at home. Uh, so with that, let's jump into our lesson for today, which is called Freed by Jesus. Uh, and like most weeks, we're going to start with a story about Jesus that we find in the book of John. And in this story, uh, Jesus is wandering around and doing some teaching. And like a lot of times, there's people following him because they want to hear Jesus. And what Jesus says to them this day is he says to them, if you obey me, if you follow me, and if you do what I tell you, you will be set free. Uh, and this kind of confuses the people because, well, they already think they're free. They're not slaves. They're not controlled by anyone. They're not owned by anyone. So this leads them to wonder, what do we need to be set free from? And Jesus gives them the answer. He tells them that they are slaves to sin. That they are captured by sin. And that wasn't just true of those people back then, but it's true of us. And I've got on uh, some pretty simple uh, string bondages here that uh, I am captured by. And this is an illustration of what sin does to us. It ties us up. It makes our life difficult. It restrains us. And you probably see this happening in your own lives of sin restraining you and causing problems. Maybe it causes problems with you and your friends sometimes where you fight and uh, you don't always get along. Or maybe with your siblings, again, where you're fighting and you don't always get along. Uh, and if you look all around our world, you'll see that there's all sorts of problems that sin causes. It makes us selfish. It makes us angry. And all these things bind us up and cause problems in our lives. But thankfully, sin does not have complete control over us. And this is where Jesus continues to teach those people. He said, don't worry. Even though you are slaves to sin, I am here to set you free. And that brings us to our Bible verse for today, which is from John chapter 8, verses, verse 36. It says, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And here, Jesus is talking about himself. He is the Son. He is the Son of God that came to set us free. It might make us wonder, how did he do that? We kind of know by now that Jesus came to earth to live a perfect life, to die for us. And when he died, he took on the bondage of sin. He took on the sin that causes all these problems in our lives. And when he died, he put sin to death. And when he died, sin died with him. So now we are free. We are free from sin. We are free now to live, to follow Jesus. And that's what it means to be freed by Jesus, that he came to earth, took on our sin, broke our chains of sin, and now we can live lives focused on him and all that he has done for us. Let us pray. 
Dear God, we thank you for sending Jesus to come to earth, to die for us, and to set us free from sin. Help us to live our lives now, not captured by sin, but following you and Jesus. We ask all this in your name. Amen. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us today. Uh, again, I encourage you to check out those things we have available for you to continue to learn about what it means to be uh, freed by Jesus. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning, and we'll see you next week. Bye.